Today's collectible spot, we are having a look at the Funko DC Comics Superheroes Vinyl Figures Mystery Minis. We're going to have a look at an entire case of these. We're going to open these all up and see the figures that we got inside. Now, we actually do get a fair l number of uh, DC Comics characters here in this wave of release. In fact, let's have a look at the individual case or individual box here. On the front, we have Wonder Woman, Batman, and Superman. Green Lantern, or Hal Jordan Green Lantern to be more exact, Flash, Martian Manhunter, and Harley Quinn. But the back, the back of the package gives you a total of 15 characters. 15. Well, that's not, that's not 100% true. Spot's fibbing you a little bit. There's 15 regular characters, and then there's a White Lantern Batman and a White Lantern Green Lantern as well. Look for all the rare versions of DC Comics Super Heroes vinyl figures. And finally, on the underside, you can go to www.funko.com. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to open up a case of 12 of these. There are six at the top, six on the bottom. That gives us a total of 12. I'm going to need a knife, and i got Hank joining us for this. Let's go ahead and cut the first pl plastic which is ultimately the only downside to this, is I'm gonna take plastic off of these. But we're gonna take the plastic off the first one, and then we're gonna go from there. That sounds like a lot of fun. So really, if this is one of those times where you've got a sandwich or you're about to make a sandwich, maybe you should go pause this video, go make a sandwich, come back, and we're still gonna be here. And then you can sit down and watch as we open up an entire case of these. We say we, it's basically gonna be me, but you guys are gonna be watching. So let's see which first figure that we get. And we got ourselves Hal Jordan, the Green Lantern. Doesn't seem to have any sort of posability, unfortunately. But he's got his ring, which I might add is sculpted, as opposed to just a blob, just a big blob of paint. It's sculpted there. His arm is extended, about to maybe summon something with his ring. Maybe a giant hammer jackhammer or maybe like a roller coaster in the <laughs> Green Lantern movie. Let's put him right there and let's see what we get for box number two. One good thing about the Funko cases is that they're fairly inexpensive if you want to get like you know an entire case. The only downside is unless the assortment is only 12, the chances of you getting an entire set, like there's no way, there's absolutely no way if you know your math, there's no way that I'm going to be able to get 17 figures amongst 12 boxes. It just doesn't work that way. Unless I can find some way to multiply these boxes as I'm reviewing them, or the just the pile of boxes does not diminish. I just keep pulling a box. Some guy's sitting there like, my God, I've been here for 45 minutes, and this guy is still working on the top. How is that possible? That's science. Well, actually, that's more that's more magic, black magic. Got ourselves Batman, the Cape Crusader. I like how they've given him the yellow uh, bat signal or bat emblem. Though they give him a darker orange utility belt, which is a little different for Batman. Still no posability. He's got a batarang in hand. Looking very Crusader-ish. I like that one. That might actually be my favorite so far. I mean, that's a... That's a statement that's still pretty early into the game because we really have not, we haven't even scratched the surface. We've only opened two. So take that with a grain of salt. But I am also a huge fan of Batman. So that could still be my favorite figure from this set. Anyways, let's open up the third box. I must say that the glue is very easy to open on these. That's probably one of the other reasons why they're sealed in uh, like a, a, a film, like a stretch film. All right, so let's open up the next one. And we got ourselves Wonder Woman. The term put up your dukes, I think, would uh, would be an accurate one to use for Wonder Woman here. The Amazonian, I don't even know. It looks like she's about to lift like a, a dumbbell that's invisible. Maybe her entire gym is invisible, much like her invisible jet. She's lifting, struggling, with a dumbbell, you just you can't tell because it's invisible. That would really stink if she drops the dumbbell because she wouldn't be able to see it. She would just kind of have to hope 
that she moves her foot out of the way, even though she can't see the dumbbell she's about to drop on it. That's a nice looking Wonder Woman, though. Really nice. You even got the lasso of truth down there. Put her right there. Put her next to Batman. In my world, I like to think Batman and Super and Wonder Woman are together. Sometimes people favor more so Superman and Wonder Woman together. But I think that's a relationship that just wouldn't work. It would all be about competition. Superman could certainly not say, uh, you know, move, move aside. Let a man do this. No, no, no. He wouldn't do that. First of all, that's... You want to say that. But second of all, Wonder Woman probably could be just as equally strong at lifting anything as Superman. It's debatable, I'm sure, per, I suppose. There's Aquaman. Who also kind of looks like a blonde-haired William Defoe. Like if Willem Defoe was cast as Aquaman... He looks extremely, like, angry, like he lives in a house and kids are coming up to his, his, you know, his fence that he's just finished. It's like, you kids stay away from my property. <laughs> I don't know why I paint these yarns of these feeble, old superheroes that are just, I don't know. But he's got his trident in his hand. He just looks really old. I don't, I don't know why. Maybe he had a thing for Wonder Woman, and she's clearly got a thing more so for Batman. He's a little bitter. Maybe he's, like, dropped that hint from time to time. Like, you know, hey, like, we seem to have a lot in common. And then she just says, yeah, but you live in the ocean. And then he just kind of thinks, ah, oh, there goes another chance with WW, as he likes to call her. One of these days, I thought I could maybe me and WW could get together. Or Wawa, as he likes to call her as well. Wawa. But it's just not going to work. For starters, let me tell you, let me brace something to you there, to the table, Aquaman. Maybe calling Wonder Woman Wawa is not the way to the woman's heart. Power Girl, on the other hand, maybe there's potential for you and Power Girl to be hooking up. Which is actually funny. Let me just revisit here. Oh yeah, Power Girl is there. Power Girl is there. I was going to say, maybe she isn't even on there, but nope, she's on there along with a metallic Harley Quinn. I'd like to get that one, too. It's Power Girl, complete with cape. She's a little under-proportioned, if you know what I'm saying, but still not a bad-looking figure. We are now coming up to the top, or at least the top half being finished. Let's go ahead and cut the plastic on the next one, and this is box six. Just tuning in now. I don't know how, but if you're just tuning in now, we're having a look at the Funko DC Super Heroes Vinyl Figures Mystery Minis. I almost had to use a knife, but no, I don't need knives. Who needs knives? This glue is feeble and weak. It's almost like Superman with kryptonite. Let's open the next bag here. Let's see what we got inside. Oh, speaking of Harley Quinn, we got ourselves, I think this is just regular Harley. It's not that I would, well, I would be able to tell. I'm pretty sure it's pretty straightforward that it's metallic over non-metallic. It doesn't look like it's metallic Harley Quinn. It looks like just regular Harley Quinn. That's my guess. I'm going to put her right there. Okay, so where are we going to start? Let's grab the front. We're going to do the top corner there. And let's... Open the next box. Maybe let me know down below. This is your part of interaction, interactivity for this video. Let me know down below which is your favorite from this set. I'll just kind of freeze that there for a second. You can also pause the camera if you so wish. Let me know which one is your favorite. And we'll engage. Not like Captain Picard engage, but we'll, we'll kind of engage in conversation. I like to engage in conversations. I like to also engage in a roast beef sandwich. That's a different relationship, though. That's a relationship that's really give give and take. The sandwich continues to give. I continue to take. I really don't give much else back. There is the Flash. Apparently his feet are melting. No, no, it's not. It gives you that idea that he's running. It also helps the figure stand as well. He looks a little disgruntled, too. 
Not as disgruntled as Aquaman. Oh no, not even the closest to Aquaman. But he looks like he's a little angry too. Maybe he's running for his life. Put him right there. Okay. I'm kind of just looking here. We don't have a lot of villains so far. And no Joker, let me also say, there's no Joker anywhere in this set. That makes me a little sad. Just a little bit. There's worse things out there that make me more sad. But I would say that this is probably a, like a level 7 sadness. Level set. Not quite a sadness. That's real sad. I'd say like a level 7. But there are very little villains that we've gotten so far, other than really Harley Quinn, unless you you could be from that school. Well, Harley Quinn's not really a villain. Okay, well, Harley Quinn's not really a villain. Let's open the next one. Let's see if we have any villains we can add to this mix. We don't, but we do have the Man of Steel, which is one that I was hoping to get. We can put them on display. I will put them on my shelf. I'm apparently all thumbs today. I'll put them on the shelf like this. Batman v Superman. Probably a lot better than how the movie actually was. <laughs> Just do them side by side. Your mother's name is Martha too? Okay. Let's not rehash that, shall we? Four boxes left, ladies and gentlemen of the jury. I present to you exhibit B for boxes. Or four boxes left. I guess that would be exhibit 4B. Four boxes left. 4BL, in fact, if I could be more exact. 4BL. Four boxes left. That would also be, uh, what, four slices of bacon and lettuce, I guess, if you want to go to a diner. Charlie, we're going to need a 4BL, which is a four bacon slice sandwich with lettuce. There's another Harley Quinn, which, funny enough... No. Oh, eh, I don't know. Looking at them, this one looks like it's got a little bit more of a sheen to it. Not Charlie Sheen, but it looks like it's got a little bit more of a sheen than this one. I can't, I can't quite tell. I can't quite tell. It does look like this one might be a little bit different than this one. What do you guys think? What do you think? What do you think? It looks like this one looks a little bit more metallic, but I might just be trying to look for something. I'm looking for something that's not there. If you're ever interested in somebody and you have a close friend that says, hey, Frank, I think you're looking for something that isn't there. That, that is like the worst thing you can hear from somebody. I think, I think you're looking for something that isn't there. And then that person always kind of just, you know, pretends like he doesn't quite understand what that person is saying. I don't, I don't know what you mean, Charlie. Oh, I think you know what I mean, Frank. You're looking for something that just isn't there. 4BL. 4 bacon. Lettuce. 4 slices. 4 things of lettuce. Would you call it a slice of lettuce? 4 leaves of lettuce. 4 leaves of lettuce and 4 bacon. That's a 4BL. Uh, I don't even know where I'm going with this, but there's Deathstroke, the Terminator. Deathstroke. He's saying ka -chow. He's not saying that. I'm just adding that. Whatever he would be saying, it would be muffled. It would be like, 4BL. 4BL. You like 4BL too? I do. 4BL. 4 bacon. Lettuce. You put mayo on that? No. Because then that would be a 4BLM. M for mayo. I guess that's not true because when you have a BLT, they don't tell you everything that's on it. If they did technically add everything on it, let's see, it would be a BLT, BM, and then it would be C. It would be bacon, lettuce, tomato, on bread, with mayonnaise, cut. C. They just kind of abbreviate it a little bit. They abbreviate. They abbreviate bacon, lettuce, tomato to BLT. I abbreviated four things of bacon and lettuce to 4BL, which really is irrelevant now because we're now down to the last box. Sleight of hand. I had you thinking about that the whole time I've been opening up the boxes. You didn't even see it coming. Didn't even see it coming. Speaking of didn't even see it coming, look how warped. Poor, 
Black Manta, which is kind of more Blue Manta. Black Manta's gun is. It was really, really warped. Despite that, I'm really liking this figure. Let's put him next to Aquaman. Aquaman versus Black Manta. Probably a lot better than Batman v Superman. This would be like Dawn of the Tides. I might as well just write for DC. Guys, I'm available. I know you guys watch these videos. No, they really don't. I would be foolish to think that DC watches these videos. If they do, hi DC. Hi. DC. 4BL. We'll talk. What? 4BL. We'll talk. I don't even know who this guy is. Anyways, we're down to the last box. The case is empty. Last box. Let's open it up, find out what we got inside. Let's uh, just do a quick tally. We got all of these. We got all of these. And we only really have Deathstroke from the bottom row. That's all we have. Luthor would be cool. Reverse Flash. And maybe even a blue cowled Batman. Any of those would make me happy. Any of those. And the final box. The award goes to... The award goes to Blue Cowled Batman. It's not completely... It's not all Blue Cowled. It's also Blue Everything Else. Anything that's black on this guy is blue on this guy. It looks like his head wants to turn. Like his head looks like it's more turned, doesn't it? I guess it isn't. No, it's not. Blue cape. Same gray outfit. Same bat sass. Batman has a lot of sass. And he's also got his batarang there. Quite a cool looking figures, I must say. Alright, so let's, uh, let's just wrap this up. I know you guys got places to be. Things to do. Doggies to play with outside with the, ball, with the rubber ball. You promised your mom. She's been waiting downstairs for you. You've been watching this video. Thank you. Thank you for uh, ignoring your dog and your mom's plea of uh, going out and doing something. Thank you for staying inside and watching one of my videos. But we got the blue cowled Batman. I'll put that right there. Black cowled Batman. You kids stay off my property, Aquaman. Played by Willem Dafoe. We got Deathstroke. Kachow. Kachow. Deathstroke the Terminator. Power Girl. A Harley Quinn and non... Well, same Harley Quinn. I think one is... I think this is the metallic. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't really know. Flash. Wonder Woman. Invisible Dumbbells. Hal Jordan, which kind of really started it all. I'm just making a mess everywhere. Uh, Black Manta, even though it's, he's wearing all blue. I should call him Blue Manta. But then everybody would say, that's not his name. His name is Black Manta. And then finally, Superman, the Man of Steel. Which I, I don't know if no... Did I mention that he has the S on his cape? If I didn't, he does. Now you can survive the rest of your day knowing that. There you go, guys. Today's collectible spot. There's one of the boxes right there. Today we're having a look at the Funko DC Comics Super Heroes Vinyl Figure Mystery Minis. We're looking at an entire case. A case of 12. These are available in your local comic book stores. These are a little bit older granted, but they should still be available in most comic book stores. Spot, if I don't have a comic book store, what do I do? Well, then you have to look a little harder. Lone tear. Now you're the panda. Go spread the word. Uh, today we were having a look, though, at the DC Comics, DC Super Heroes Mystery Minis case. That's what we were doing. Stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have more collectible spots in your way. As always, thanks for watching. See you next time.